Today, I walked onto a shed to house lot and I had no idea what was about to happen. Bo set an appointment to visit our favorite shed to house builders, United Portable Buildings, and the whole family pulled up to see what was new. As we walked to the back of the lot, Bo was a little too eager for me to check out one building in particular. And I feel like I'm being punked. I kid you not, when I stepped in, it felt like a time machine. Is this for someone? Did someone order this? So our customer actually got the almost exact same model. Someone who we've never met copied the layout of our house almost exactly. And I could not be more excited. Walking through the front door, the staircases, the spot for the kitchen, the bedrooms, it was a flashback to dreaming up this whole radical life change. I sat pregnant to the max, drawing up sketches and sharpening pencils and trying to measure square feet with a ruler. There was no blueprint to convert a shed into a house, let alone a house for six people. We created and revised a dozen times before we settled on the roof style and the lofts and the massive porches. After selling in the suburbs, the summer of 2018 was ripe with adventure for us. Before pandemics and zombie apocalypse scenarios, we stepped into the world of alternative living spaces. We wondered if there was a community of folks who wanted a totally different life than what the cities and the suburbs were pushing. Forget the McMansions, we were looking for the ones eager to opt out of Bigger is Better. We're looking for the ones who are seeking to minimize stuff and space in order to maximize lifestyle spent on the land. So we started a little group on Facebook, as one does, and boom, we realized we weren't alone. The day folks started uploading their own photos and asking questions, I was giddy to see others like us doing what we do. That group is now a vibrant 100,000 strong with members across the globe. There's a whole world of people in pursuit of living simply on purpose. The deeper window? Oh, That's yeah. great. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the bathroom that I was just now in before we left, and I was like, guys, this is a bathroom that has the mirror in it, and I need all of you to leave. This is a lot of different so things. So I wonder, do you know what they're doing with this space? I do not. That's really curious. It almost looks like like a water closet for maybe maybe laundry where Ollie is. Mm -hmm. And then I would guess this is a closet. That is a main, well that could be a closet. That That's is what a, I'm saying, is I would guess that's a closet. Well ours is the sliding I'm really curious. I, it's funny because I'm like, this could be George's room right here. Like, oh, totally. we could be here, she could be here. Looking at this shell of a home encourages my very soul. There is so much possible here. When someone tells us they dream of debt freedom and living simple in a small shed to home, most see the studs and the subfloors, the fixtures and the furniture. But now I can see the meals and the memories, the learning curves and the life lessons. I'm bubbling up inside to consider that someone out there saw what we were doing and thought it might be worth doing for themselves. I love adventure, I love new things, and homesteading opened a door to a rich world with lessons and adventures for us. Our shed to house gave us the leverage we needed to step through it. Totally changing our lifestyle wasn't crazy for us. We just decided to live it out right here on the internet. I never would imagine that someone else would see that and feel the courage to take the same leap. So I guess I have a love letter to share with these anonymous friends. To the owners of this building, I think back to the day our shed to house was first delivered. Oh my gosh, the house is here! Go, Come back. go tell mom. Mom, mom, mom! I wish you the sweetest memories in this home. I'm excited for you to make your mark in the floors that you pick out and the meals that you cook in your kitchen. I hope that you wake and sleep with the sun as you look out those beautiful windows and that in your own way, you welcome people into a slow, intentional life. <laughs>